श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम निर्दोषम ही समम ब्रह्म तस्मा ब्रह्मणी ते स्थिता ब्रह्म इज निर्दोष दोष इज ओनली वेन देर इज समथिंग अदर वॉटर एज वॉटर इज प्योर बट वेन वी एड मिल्क इन दैट एंड सेल दैट एज ए मिल्क देन इट बिकम्स इम प्योर सो ऑल्सो दी परब्रह्म परमात्मा एज परब्रह्म परमात्मा इज प्योर बट इन दैट वेन वी एड द जीव जगत ईश्वर भेद देन इट बिकम्स इम प्योर एंड देर फोर यस्मा निर्दोषम समम ब्रह्म आत्मा तस्मा बिकॉज फॉर दिस पंडित वाइज पर्सन हु हैज कम टू एक्सपीरियंस दिस अयम आत्मा ब्रह्म He who is established in this Brahmatma Bodha, for him, what will be his lifestyle like? Twenty-eighth verse: Na pravrushet priyam prapya, no dvijet prapya cha priyam, sthira buddhi ra samudha. ब्रह्म विद ब्रह्मणी स्थित वेन वी आर लिविंग एज अ मदर अ फादर देन व्हाट इज अवर लाइफ स्टाइल वरिंग अबाउट द चिल्ड्रन वेन वी लिव एज द हजबेंड और द वाइफ देन व्हाट इज अवर लाइफ स्टाइल लाइफ स्टाइल fighting with each other with all sincerity and when we are living as consciousness when we are living as brahman then what happens na pravrushet priyam prapya na pravrushet na praharsham kuryat harsha <coughs> is happiness praharsha is hysteria when we lose our balance out of happiness that is called as praharsham so na pravrushet priyam prapya when something priyam ishtam whatever we wanted whatever has to happen and if there has happened then we are so much overjoyed that we lose our balance and the other न उद्विजेत प्राप्य एव च अप्रियम अनिष्टम लब्ध्वा एंड समटाइम वी गेट द थिंग बिकॉज दो थिंग्स आर गुड फॉर अस बट वी डोंट लाइक देम लाइक द आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन सो उद्विजेत वन गेट्स टोटली डिस्गस्टेड उद्वेग इज अ रिएक्शन when the reaction is vocal such a person is uh, a fighting cock and when the reaction is not coming out in terms of words then it keeps on building pressure inside that is called as udveg and such udveg people are fed up of the world and ultimately fed up of themselves so these two things na pravrushet priyam prapya this wise man when the things happen according to requirement he doesn't lose his balance and when they don't happen according to requirement but the other way it happens even that time also he doesn't lose his balance so what is the important thing important thing is maintaining the equanimity that is important now 
देह मात्रात्म दर्शनाम ही प्रिया प्रिय प्राप्ति हर्ष विषयाद स्थाने दोज हू कंसिडर देम सेल्फ टू बी द बॉडी अलोन देह मात्र आत्मा बॉडी अलोन इज द सेल्फ दर्शनाम दोज हू आर हैविंग दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग तो दोज हू आर हैविंग द अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट द बॉडी अलोन इज द सेल्फ फॉर देम प्रिय अप्रिय प्राप्ति हर्ष विषयाद स्थाने for them the joy and sorrows because of getting something or not getting something is obvious na kevala atma darshana ha but this is not possible for the one who has discovered the self where the sense of otherness is no more available so kevala atma darshana ha now when it is said kevala atma darshana ha means what it is not that he has rejected the body and only atma atma no from his understanding experience point of view there is nothing other than parmatma see in kathopanishad we have seen indriya uh, indriyebhya para hyartha arthebhyascha param manaha manasastu para buddhi एंड बुद्धेर आत्मा महान परा महता परम अव्यक्तम अव्यक्ता पुरुष परा पुरुषान्न परम किंचित सा काष्टा सा परागति सो पुरुषान्न परम किंचित दैट मीन्स वन हू इज एस्टैब्लिश इन दिस नॉलेज फॉर हिम अदर दैन द परमात्मा देर इज नथिंग इफ वी अंडरस्टैंड देर इज नथिंग ओ दैट मीन्स देर इज समथिंग गॉड इज नथिंग नो वॉट इज मेन्ट इज परमात्मा अलोन इज This is what is meant by kevala atma darshi. It is something like this. You know, if you take a small example, when I look at my hand and my fingers and I play, that time the experience is that I am looking at me. When I look into the mirror and I am looking only at the reflection. that time also the understanding is i am looking at me when i am scratching my back that time also the experience is i am scratching me when the finger goes into my own eye that time also i know my own finger has gone in my own eye what is the ultimate analysis it does not create any turmoil Isn't it? When I see my hand, he I am so happy. See, wonderful hand. No, I know I am. There is nothing to be wonderful. One small girl saw her newly born uh, brother. Where I saw, and that child was not uh, very grown up. The elder one was be about four years or five years. Then I went to their house. How did how did come come? I show you something good. So what is that? Pulled me, and see see how cute small small hands you know. Mummy told they are going to grow. <laughs> so na pravrushet priyam prapya because everything is I alone. In that experience of absolute oneness, there is no possibility of adding any joy. there is no possibility of taking away joy therefore na pravrushet priyam prapya no dvijet prapya cha apriyam and therefore kevala atma darshinah tasya priya apriya prapti asambhavat for him there is no possibility because kevala atma matra where sadatiya vijatiya swagat bheda is absent so kevala atma darshin therefore means what where विजातीय भेद विजित विजातीय भेद जीव जगत इज विजातीय भेद विच इज द सजातीय भेद जीव जीव जगत जगत एंड व्हाट इज द स्वगत भेद विद इन द जीव समाइम हैप्पी समाइम मिजरेबल मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम मिजरेबल वंस इन ए वाइल हैप्पी सी This is swagata bhed. So all these three types of bhedas, where they are totally absent, that kevala atma darshinaha, 
तस्य फॉर हिम प्रिय अप्रिय प्राप्ति असंभवात फॉर हिम देर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग समथिंग व्हाट यू लाइक और व्हाट यू डोंट लाइक बिकॉज देर इज नथिंग अदर देन यू फर्दर किंच सर्वभूतेशु एक समो निर्देश निर्दोष आत्मा इति स्थिरा निर्विचिकित्सा बुद्धि स स्थिर बुद्धि हू इज स्थिर बुद्धि सर्वभूतेशु एक समो निर्दोष आत्मा इन ऑल बीइंग देर इज वन इक्वेरिमस होमोजेनियस रियल सेल्फ इति स्थिरा दस फॉर्म निर्विचिकित्सा डाउटलेस बुद्धि अंडरस्टैंडिंग यस्य सहा स्थिर बुद्धि सो ही इज एक्सट्रीमली कन्विंस एंड अवॉइडिंग इन दिस नॉलेज नाउ सी टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस टेक वन आउट एग्जांपल्स अर्लियर दिस इज टू हैपन नाउ दिस डजंट हैपन वेन यू इज टू गो मे बी अबाउट ट्वेंटी इयर्स बिफोर और फिफ्टीन इयर्स इवन टू डिफरेंट कंट्रीज and you see some indian hey are looks to be indian hello hello kahan ke where from you are all there now in the whole lot you have seen someone so immediately there is attraction now when we are able to <coughs> see an indian because we know we are indian see in a group of people if a bengali is there and if he sees another bengali he forgets even bhagwan and kemon kemon keche keche and this starts irrespective of anything when two bengalis meet they start fighting in bengali so sarvabhuteshu ekah samaan nirdosha atma iti sthira nirvichikitsa he who has thus this doubtless experience that there is but one reality in and through all and therefore sthira buddhi then asammudah and therefore asammudah there is no doubt there is no moh born out of doubt <coughs> moh is what moh is uh mistaken identity is considered to be the right identity is called as moh i consider myself to be body mistaken identity but then i insist that alone is the truth and therefore he is a sammudah he is without this kind of doubt therefore sammoha varjitah there is no ignorance about the self there is no wrong identity about the self and there is no insistence that the wrong identity is the right so all these things are absent in him therefore sammoha varjita ta sat yathokta ha brahmavid sache knower of the brahman brahmani sthita ha is abiding in the brahman now see the definition brahmani sthita means akarma krut sarva karma sanyasi ityarta ha so karmani akarmaya ha pashyet see how bhagwan is bringing the topic so beautifully developed where from we started we started from this verse karmani akarmaya pashyet akarmani ja karmaya the whole topic is only the explanation and the expansion of their original thought so such a person brahmavid brahmani sthitah akarma krut sarva karma sanyasi therefore whenever bhagwan shankara acharya is referring here sanyas he is not referring to the tailor made sanyas but he who has no doership and therefore no association with any kind of karma phala neyas nitya sanyasi yo na dveshti na kaankshati see he who is neither having any disliking nor having any liking therefore he has transcended all the reasons to function work in this world because he is abiding in the self so brahma vid brahmani sthitah continuing this thought further kincha brahmani sthitah and continuing how this man of wisdom is living in this world 
बाह्य स्पर्शेश्व सक्तात्मा विंदत्यात्म नियत्सुखम स ब्रह्म योग युक्तात्मा सुखमक्षयमश्नुते बाह्य स्पर्शेशु बाह्या च स्पर्शा ते बाह्य स्पर्शा स्पृश्यंते स्पर्शा शब्दादय विषया तेषु बाह्य स्पर्शेशु बाह्य स्पर्श मीन्स द वर्ल्डली ऑब्जेक्ट्स वाय दे ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर कॉल्ड एज स्पर्श बिकॉज दे आर टचड एंड देअर फोर दे आर कॉल्ड एज ऑब्जेक्ट दैट मीन्स दे आर ऑब्जेक्टिव अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट देम तो ऑल दे शब्द स्पर्श रूप रस गंध तो शब्दादय विषया तेषु बाह्य स्पर्शेशु असक्तात्मा अंतकरण यम स असक्तात्मा विषयु प्रीतिवर्जिता आसन सो दिस वाइज मैन हेज नो मोर लव फॉर द वर्ल्डली ऑब्जेक्ट्स ब्राय बाह्य स्पर्शेशु असक्तात्मा आत्मनि यद सुखम विंदति लभते Now he is discovering the bliss of the self under this condition. Tad iti etad. So yes, sukham mandate. Now we'll take the remaining part next. Now here, see, we get happiness in our life from four methods. First method is. that we have wealth accumulated in the bank and by looking at the bank balance you know i think i don't want to work now anymore i have got sufficient money at least another uh, 20 years i will be able to manage and i don't think i live more than 20 years money is in the bank i am happy here second that is called as arth Second happiness is, I get the objects to indulge. So I get rasgulla and I eat and I enjoy. I get the um, achar and I enjoy. Or I get a particular type of uh, um, clothing and I am happy about it. Second type of happiness is through calm. So first is through earth, second is through karma. The third type of happiness is through dharma. One day, where it was, we are going somewhere, and uh, the person sitting next to me was telling Swami Ji, uh, "Would you like to give something to the beggar?" I said, "Why you worry about me?" No, I want to give. I said, "You give then." I want to give through you. I said I am not your servant. If you are to give, you give. But don't you feel like giving? I said you don't bother about me, please. Why should I tell you what happens or what doesn't happen? You want to give? I am not stopping you. No, actually, you know, Swami Ji, when I give, you know, something to the poor people and all that, I feel so good. I said it's good. Go on giving. And become miserable if you don't see the poor people to give somebody. See, those who discover happiness by giving something to somebody, poor fellows, they don't have anything. And therefore, I give man my tissue paper, take this thing. So such people's happiness is out of dharma. So they will do charity. and they will distribute clothes and kill others and then they will distribute uh, food that is the happiness born out of dharma or else we do some puja our uh, satyanarayan puja and the satyanarayan puja is our Yes, we are having the Maha Satyanarayan Puja. Please come to our house, and we'll be having this and that thing. People come, and then you feel very good, you know. Actually, you know, in Shravan, my na, you know, I do every Monday. I have to do, you know, that is, you know, I like it. This is the happiness got through 
धर्म सो अर्थ इज अवे एंड गिवज अस हैप्पीनेस काम इंडल्ज एंड गिवज अस हैप्पीनेस धर्म इज सीटेड इन आवर माइंड एंड गिवज अस हैप्पीनेस सो वी आर गोइंग नियरर नियरर टू दैट and if you are not able to do dharma i wish i had lot of money i can give money to every poor person in this world and make them happy god has failed and you try see so when you cannot do dharma you are miserable then indulgence kaam you like very much sweets but i don't know where from this dirty diabetes has come nobody has got in our family you know i don't know where from it has come so you can't indulge there is misery and you have got lot of bank balance and or something or the other uh, ram or the sham and then the income tax something happens and there is misery so all the three happinesses born out of dharma artha kama they are always associated with fear of loss see and therefore what is the last now last is brahma yoga yukta atma he who has discovered the bliss of being bob card you know there is one bob card in the market they call it the bank of baroda card but actually it is the bliss of being the happiness that you are if you are able to discover it and come to know then all the happiness of dharma artha kama is only the superimposed happiness on other things essentially it is the brahmananda alone see we will study the 11th chapter of panchadashi there this topic comes ब्रह्मानंदे योगानंदम देर इट कम्स सो स ब्रह्मयोग युक्त आत्मा ब्रह्मणी योग समाधि ही ब्रह्मयोग ही हु इज फाइनली एंड फॉर्मली अवॉइडिंग इन द ब्रह्मन जो ब्रह्मणी योग समाधि ब्रह्मयोग तेन ब्रह्मयोगेन युक्त सामिता तस्वीन व्यापृत आत्मा अंतकरण से स ब्रह्मयोग युक्त आत्मा he whose mind is fully merged in the absolute self now see what happens when the mind is merged in the absolute self mind doesn't have now independent existence in the absence of the mind there is absence of the duality in the absence of the duality there is absence of the limitation in the absence of the limitation there is absence of desire in the absence of the desire the absence of karma in the absence of karma there is nothing but bliss see therefore brahma yoga yukta atma he who is who is firmly abiding in this brahmatmik ke bodha so brahma yoga yukta atma akshayam sukham ashnute prapnoti he attains that bliss which does not reduce see the bliss of bank balance grows when the bank balance grows you know this i have understood one day when old man came and he said swami ji i am little disturbed can you please help me i said what he said you know see when i got uh, retirement i had planned this much will be my total amount about 10 lakhs i'll put them in fixed deposit i'll get at least 10 12000 rupees per month and i'll be able to manage but do you know what happened i said no what happened so government has taken that money no even if we put in fixed deposit now the returns are hardly 5% now with that 5 6000 we'll get per month even the house rent will take care of i don't know what i should do see so the happiness that we get from the objective world is always subjected to kshaya tuberculosis akshaya is non tuberculous happiness you know in kshaya rog in tuberculosis one reduces slowly 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 
the all the other kinds of happiness they are subject to change but this brahma yoga yuktaatma sukham akshayam ashrute hey how beautiful it is tasmat no bhagwan is telling arjun and we all tasmat bahya vishaya prite he kshanikaya ha indriyani nivartayet therefore all our faculties must be withdrawn from the temporary enchantment from the ticklings of the worldly objects atmani akshaya sukharthi ityarta for whom this is those who want to discover the infallible absolute bliss within so they have to first of all give up their attachment hang up to the worldly things then alone it is possible now itaha cha nivartaye for this reason also one should withdraw from the worldly involvement what is that ye hi sansparsha ja bhoga ha दुखयो नय एवते आद्यवंत कौंतेय न तेषु रमते बुध ये भोगा संस्पर्श जा संस्पर्शदा ये ही स्मार्ट बिकॉज संस्पर्श जा विषय इंद्रिय संस्पर्शे जाता दैट हैपीनेस विच इज गेन्ड बाय कॉन्टैक्ट ऑफ द सेंसेस विथ द सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो भोगा भुक्त द एंजॉयमेंट what is that dukha yonaya evate they are the womb of all the miseries of life now it will remind you of our best friend nachiket shwo bhava martyasya yadantakaitat sarve indriyanam jarayanti tejaha api sarvam jeevitam alpameva तव युवाह स्तव नृत्य गीते वेरी क्लियर एनालि बिकॉज व्हाट एवर वी थिंक इज द सोर्स ऑफ हैपीनेस दैट डजेंट रिमेन द सोर्स ऑफ हैपीनेस नेक्स्ट मोमेंट फॉर टू रीजन्स आयदर दैट ऑब्जेक्ट चेंजेस आर आवर इंटरेस्ट गोज अवे हैव सीन वन यंग कपल मैरिड and not even 6 months and got separated and you know the reason the reason is i have lost interest in her but then you got married yes i agree i got that married that time but now i have no interest what can i do you can see how irresponsible one can be in life and it is not his fault he is the victim of the mind so either the worldly objects keep on changing therefore we uh, cannot get enduring permanent happiness from them or our attitude towards the worldly enjoyment suddenly undergoes change and everything looks very dull and non enchanting so shobhava amartyasya yadantakaitat whatever is in this world is constantly changing he antaka he yamaraj then this is regarding the artha don't forget the example which i give you to make this point then second purushartha is kama purushartha what is the uh, statement about the kama purushartha that sarvendriyanam jarayanti tejah सर्वेन्द्रिया तेज जरयती एज लॉन्ग एज अवर फैकल्टीज आर परफेक्ट एंड स्ट्रांग देन ओनली वी कैन एंजॉय वर्ल्डली ऑब्जेक्ट्स 
the other day where I went, so we were sitting together and uh, no kindly give me only rice. But earlier I remember, sir, you were only taking chapati. No, I cannot take now because I have no teeth. And in that case then I have to uh, make pieces and put it into that dal and wait till it becomes chewable by the gum. So then I do the chewing gum. So we are able to indulge and enjoy the worldly objects only till such time when our faculties are bright and brilliant. And the more you use your faculties, the more blunt they become. Therefore, dukkha yonayaha, they become the source of misery. Then, living long life so that I will be happy. You ask those who are living really long, are they happy? There are many people who cross hundred and they are frustrated. You know what is the misery of the long life? The other day, somewhere it happened and I was there and that man was so miserable and so depressed. So I went there, talking here and there. He said, Swamiji, you will never understand my pain, my misery and I, I don't want to continue to live. I want to commit suicide. I said, what happened? He said, my health is so good. There is no possibility of my dying. And before me, I have lost two sons. Their wives have become widows. And I am still going strong. How many people's death I have to watch in this world now? So I have started feeling, because I am alive, they are dying. <laughs> See? Even we have long life, it's not a very comfortable thing. When an elderly man sees the youngsters dying in front of them, it is terribly painful. So, api jivam sarvatam jivitam sarvam dukkayonaya evate. They are the source of all misery. So, ye hi sanspar chajab hoga dukkayonaya evate. Why they are dukkayona? Avidya krutatvat. Because through ignorance, we imagine that money is the source of happiness, karma is the source of happiness, desire fulfillment, and dharma is the source of happiness. But it is not. The real source of happiness is our own being. And further, drushanti hi adhyatmikadini dukhani tannimittani eva. And we are seen also in this world. The three times of misery that come in our life. When we become only objective in our life. Objective lifestyle is dharma, artha, kama. And subjective life is the parama purushartha, the moksha. So when we are living for objective existence, then the three kinds of uh, miseries, adhyatmika, adhini. So either the miseries from the adhi daivik or Miseries from the Adi Bhautik or the Adhyatmi. Adi Daivik is everything is fine. Suddenly one gets a paradox stroke. And there is nothing that one can do. Or everything is alright, but the neighbor is horrible. Throughout life, only one thought. I don't know when will this fellow die. And he is also doing the same thing. Both of them praying. There were two neighbors like this. And uh, extremely jealous and hatred for each other. So one neighbor started doing tapasya. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Such people do tapasya for Shivji only. Because he is Ashutosh, quickly ready. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. Shivji appeared. The moment this fellow started, other also went to the extreme. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, competition. Shri said, look here, I have come for both of you, know, finish it quickly, I can't come separately. So, you ask. <clears throat> so, there was one very uh, nasty between the two. He said, no, 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 let my neighbor get anything. And then I'll ask. So, the neighbor said, no, no, no. Bhagwan, let him take. Bhagavan says, you finish quickly, otherwise I'll go away. 
सो ओके दिन वन फेलो सीज भगवान गिव माय फ्रेंड डबल देन व्हाट यू गिव मी ओ व्हाट ए ग्रेट बून यू आर आस्किंग यू आर रियली गुड फ्रेंड्स ओके आई ग्रांट यूर फ्रेंड डबल देन व्हाट आई ग्रांट यू ये सर व्हाट ओ गॉड टेक अवे माय वन आय so that fellow will become blind by both the eyes therefore dharma artha kama it can never be enduring it will be adhyatmika adi bhautika and adi daivika dukhani now <coughs> yatha iha loke tatha paraloke api gammete eva shabdat now here this one word ये ही संस्पर्श जा योगा दुख योनय एवते नव द वर्ड एव भगवान शंकर इंटरप्रिट एव मीन्स वॉट दिस इज नॉट द स्टोरी ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड ओनली यथा इह लोके तथा परलोके अपी झोपड़पट्टी धारावी इज नॉट ओनली इन बॉम्बे इन स्वर्ग ऑल्सो देर इज वन धारावी एंड देयर ऑल्सो द गुंडागर्दी इज देयर तो यथा इह लोके तथा परलोके अपी एव शब्द गम्य थे देर फोर वेदर यू गेट द हैप्पीनेस इन दिस वर्ल्ड और यू इमेजिन आई विल गो टू देवन एंड गेट हैप्पीनेस देयर और यू इमेजिन आई विल गो टू स्टील हायर वर्ल्ड एंड गेट हैप्पीनेस नो टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस यू कैन जस्ट सी People are staying in the villages happily, but then something goes in their head. What is this useless life here? Village, there is nothing. Why stay in Rajasthan? Then one Rajasthani fellow I asked. I said, "You have got such a big house, everything in your Rajasthan. You seem to be from a good family. Why you are come here selling these? You know." flower uh, garland she makes and or somebody makes and sells it on the cross he said what will i do with the big house leak it or what there is no money there now i have come here i get money now i am not going to go back so there is miserable here i am happy how long it will continue few years and then the jopad patti is not good you know below the you know railway track is too much disturbing you know now the express highway has come up below that there is better place you go on imagining and changing so na samsare sukhasya gandha matram api asti in this world not even a mention of happiness in the relativity is ever possible न संसारे सुख से गंधमात्री बुद्धवा हैविंग द स्नोन विषय मृग तृष्णिकाया इंद्रिया निवर्त एंड दे आर फोर वन शुड विड्रॉ ऑल इज फैकल्टीज फ्रॉम द वर्ल्डली ऑब्जेक्ट्स विथ दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग वेन एवर वी गिव अप समथिंग थ्रू इग्नरेंस इट इज टेम्पररी Whenever we give up something through understanding, it is permanent. So, iti budhva vishaya mruga trishnika ayaha indriyani nivartayed. We should withdraw our faculties from the worldly objects. No, kevalam dukha yona yaha. Now the thought is further analyzed. That all the worldly enchantment, bhogas, enjoyments are not only the source of misery, but adhyantavantaha cha. Adhyantavantaha means what? Adi vishaya indriya sanyoga ha bhoga naam antaha cha tad viyoga ha. Adi means when the senses come in contact with the sense objects, and bhoga naam antaha vishaya indriya viyoga ha. so every worldly enjoyment begins the moment the senses come in contact with the sense objects and the moment they are separated again they are not there therefore the indulgence gives us happiness only as long as senses and the objects are together not otherwise therefore adyantavantaha 
अतः आद्यंतवंत अनिट विच हेज द बिगिनिंग एंड द एंड देर फोर दे आर अनित्य एंड देर फोर मध्य क्षण भावित्वाद इतना सो देर फोर दे आर ओनली अपियरिंग इन बिट्वीन सी आदावंते चास्ती मध्य तत् तद ही That which is not in the beginning, that which is not in the end, in between it only appears. That's it. Like you know, Bhagwan said in the second chapter, "Avyaktaadi ni bhutaani vyakta madhyani Bharata, avyakta nidhana neva tatra kapari devana." So anything which begins and ends in between it only appears. Therefore, te anitya ha kaunteya na teshu bhogeshu. रमते बुधो विवेकी अवगत परमार्थ तत्व सो विवेकी द डिस्क्रिमिनेटिव वन हु हैज अवगत रेकग्नाइज एक्सपीरियंस्ड हु हैज रेकग्नाइज परमार्थ तत्व ही कैन नो मोर बी एवर एबल टू बी रेवलिंग इन द वर्ल्डली एंजॉयमेंट मीन्स वॉट अत्यंत मूढ़ा नाम एव ही विषय अति दुष्यते those who are extremely fools of the highest order they alone revel in the worldly objects example yatha pashu prabruti bhi nam just like the animals therefore the pashu are defined as pashyati iti pashu na thinkati they don't think the grass is there go and eat nice uh, you know these uh, flowers are there marigold flowers beautiful bed buffalo will go and eat away all the flowers instead of cutting and putting it on a stone i am doing brahmarpanam brahma <laughs> why you worry about it so bhoga is only for atyanta mudhanam those who are extremely dull with it and therefore अयम च श्रेय मार्ग प्रतिपक्षी कष्टतमो दोष सर्वनर्थ प्राप्ति हेतु दुर्निर्वाय चिहारे यत्नाधिक्य कर्तव्य भगवान तो देर इज समथिंग बिकॉज ऑफ विच वी आर अनेबल टू प्रोग्रेस ऑन द स्पिरिचुअल पाथ एंड इट इज द कष्टतम द मोस्ट टॉर्चरिंग वन and it is sarva anartha prapti hetu the source of all the problems of life durnirvarya difficult to remove what is that <coughs> this is said in the 23rd verse and therefore tat parihare yatnadhikyam kartavya kartavyam itiyah so there is some thing which is द बिगेस्ट ऑब्स्टैकल श्रेय मार्ग प्रतिपक्षी प्रतिपक्षी इज द ऑब्स्टैकल एन एनिमी सो देर इज अ बिग एनिमी फॉर दोज हु आर वॉकिंग द स्पिरिच्युअल पाथ एंड इट इज अ कष्टतम दोष कष्ट कष्टतर कष्टतम द मोस्ट टॉर्चरिंग लिमिटेशन एंड इट इज सर्व अनर्थ प्राप्ति हेतु सोर्स ऑफ ऑल द मिजर इज इन लाइफ दुर्निर्वाह डिफिकल्ट टू कॉन्कर देर फोर तत्परिहारे यत्नाधिक्यम कर्तव्यम देर फोर वन हेज टू पुट फॉरवर्ड मोर एंड मोर एफर्ट्स न वॉट इज दैट शक्नोती है यो ढुम प्राक्षरीर विमोक्षण काम क्रोधोद्भव वेगम संयुक्त सुखी न शक्नोति उत्सहते शक्नोति मीन्स ही हु इज एबल टू शक्नोति उत्सहते इह एव शक्नोति इह एव इह एव मीन्स वॉन्ट जीवन एव वाई लिविंग वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्पिरिच्युअल प्रैक्टिस आफ्टर डेथ वाई लिविंग He who is able to stand, what? Yaha sodum prasahitum, 
प्राग पूर्वम शरीर विमोक्षणा आ मरणा ही हु इज एबल टू स्टैंड एंड फेस बिफोर द डेथ ऑफ इज ओन बॉडी वॉट इज दैट वॉट वन इज एबल टू सस्टेन फेस बोल्डली मरण सीमा करणम जीवता अवश्य भावी अवश्यम भावी ही एंड इट इज नेसेसरी दैट दिस इज ट्रू दैट द काम क्रोध इज विथ अस अप टू द लास्ट मोमेंट ऑफ लाइफ नेवर हैव द रॉन्ग नोशन that i have conquered the desire and i have conquered the anger no marana seema karanam jeevataha avashyam bhavihi kama krodho bhavo vegah because kama krodha and their aveg aveg is the force can remain with us up to the last moment of our life i have seen one patient in uh, tata very peculiar he was having the cancer of his uh, left uh, arm and finally they had to amputate that and he used to be so elderly man must be about 55 60 70 when his daughter in law will come to help him serve him he will abuse her he will throw things at her and whole day he will cover himself with a blanket it is so hot in bombay cover not eat food extremely angry and frustrated so people is to feel pity on that girl then she is to tell he has been always like this in his life he has first of all tortured his wife she died now he is having this thing so i am supposed to look after because he is my father in law he does like that and one day he went in the bathroom and locked the bathroom from inside and not coming out so the nurses have to call the other boys and they have to climb from above now that and inside also he started breaking the commode and all that and he said why i want to jump from there i want to die so much anger therefore friends never imagine that we have conquered desire and anger it can remain with us till the last moment of life सो मरण सीमा करण जीवता अवश्य भावि काम क्रोधुब्धो वेग अनंत निमितवान्न विश्रमणीय that now i have conquered anger and i have conquered desire any time suddenly it will take out its wood like the um frogs they come suddenly when the first shower goes where from they have come no one was around they were all hibernating below the soil in the same manner the desire and anger They are all hibernating behind the mind. Kama indriya gochara prapte isti vishaye shruya mane smarya mane va anubhute sukhohito jaha ya gardhi trishna sa kama ha. Now what is kama? What is the desire? Desire is indriya gochara prapte. Indriya gochara is the worldly objects. Whenever any worldly object iste and if that object is of desire iste vishaye shruya mane when you have heard about it or smarya mane when you remember about that or anubhute or you remember experience with that object then sukha hetau and for repeating the same happiness by interacting with the same worldly objects ya gardhi trishna that longing that is called less kama see this from this gardhi word where we have heard it remember we have studied uh, isha vasupanishad ma gridaha kasya siddhanam the same dhatu ma gridaha don't have the longing for 
anybody's money or for their purpose anything in this world so shruya maneshu sware maneshu ya gardi trishna sa kamaha that is called as desire now what is the krodha krodha cha आत्मन प्रतुकेशु दुख हेतुषु दृश्यमु श्रूयम स्मर्यम वा यो द्वेश स क्रोध दैट हेट्रेट इज कॉल्ड एज एंगर सो हेट्रेट इज इन साइड एन एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ द हेट्रेट इज एंगर वन कैन नॉट से दैट आई हैव सो मच हेट्रेट फॉर यू देर फोर आई लव यू नो hatred will be always expressed as anger so for what atmanah pratikuleshu that which is contrary to our desires then dukha hetushu that which is a source of misery for us then drushya maneshu even we are seen that why did you come early morning in front of me sir you are standing in front of the mirror break that mirror दृश्य मारे श्रूय मानेशु वेन यू हियर अबाउट सम वन आर समथिंग वॉट यू डोंट लाइक आर स्मर्य मानेशु मेनी टाइम्स वी आर सिंपली सिटिंग एंड सडनली वी रिमेम्बर समथिंग वॉट वी नेवर लाइक एंड इमीडिएटली ऑल अवर केमिस्ट्री स्टार्ट चेंजिंग स्मर्य मानेशु या द्वेष दैट इज कॉल्ड एस क्रोध सो तौ काम क्रोध उद्भव येगस्य स काम क्रोधोद्भव वेग सो दीज टू थिंग्स एंगर एंड द डिजायर दे आर द उद्भव दे आर द सोर्स ऑफ दिस आवेग दिस इंपल्स आवेग मीन्स इंपल्स सो वेगस्य काम क्रोधोद्भव वेग रोमांचन हृष्ट नेत्र वदनादि लिंग so when the kama krodha avega comes then what happens romancha you are here stand on the end romanchana then arhushta uh, netra vadanadi your eyes become red and your mouth start twisting your nose starts blowing like a buffalo then all these things happen then the aveg of the anger and desire is possessing you. except in the hindi film no wear anybody looks beautiful when one is angry he i was in a what do you call that school wellams girl school in dehradun and uh, for one week i used to have a session there long time back and uh, last day we had a question answer so one girl has asked question swami ji Uh, how to control anger please tell now to those young girls about 13 14 what can you tell them this big thing uh -huh. as you know first of all you find out is anger good or bad now for example when you become angry extremely go and stand in front of mirror but don't break the mirror you will come to know you look most ugly when you are angry so to maintain your face value don't become angry see because when then aveg comes we totally change ourselves completely or it starts expressing the other day where it happened hyderabad or somewhere somebody was telling me swami ji such and such function was there and then uh, such and such person was supposed to come first and then the chief minister was supposed to come and it did not happen it happened the other way around and this man got so angry and then who 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 not talking to people in proper way throwing the things you know see kama krodho bhavam vegam so tau kama krodho udbhavo yasya vegasya sa kama kromut bho vegah romanjana हृष्ट नेत्र वदनादी लिंग विच इज सीन एक्सप्रेस लाइक दिस देन अंतकरण प्रक्षोभ रूप देन द अंतकरण द माइंड बिकम्स एक्सट्रीमली एजिटेटेड अंतकरण प्रक्षोभ रूप कामोद्भव वेग 
So what is the meaning of therefore Kama Krodhvod Bhavam Vegam? The agitations created in the mind in the wake of the anger and the desire, he who is able to stand to that and do not allow the desire and anger to take possession, see, what he means, you know, Kama Krodha is bound to happen to every one of us. Nothing abnormal about it. It will be there. Sometime you want something and it doesn't happen. Then you become angry. Then the anger comes. Now be very attentive. Arrival of the anger or the desire is one story. And getting influenced by the anger or the desire is another story. So what Bhagavan is telling that even if that Kama Krodha, that impulse comes on you, you are able to shakroti haivaya sodum. You are able to stand apart, firmly rooted. Never be a weakling and be a victim to anything in this world. See? Kama krodod bhavam vegam. So, antak karana praksho bharupaha kama krodod bhavo vegaha. Now, gatra prakampa prasveda. Sandashta, Oshta, Puta, Ratta, Netradi, Lingaha, Krodhod, Bhavo, Vegaha. And when the anger comes, so when the desire comes, the Avega is disturbance in the mind. And when anger comes, then what happens? See how beautiful. Gatra, Prakampa, you start shaking out of anger. And then Prasveda, Prasveda, you start perspiring. Because of anger, and then sandashta oshta, then you start biting your own teeth and your own lips out of anger, and then puta ratna, puta ratra, rakta netradi linga, and then your eyes become red and your nose starts moving. Purr, 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 purr. When the anger comes, this happens. So, Gatra, Prakampa, Prasveda, Sandashta, Aushta, Puta, Ratna, Netra, Dilinga, Krodur, Bhavo, Vegaha. So, Kama is functioning inside and Krodha is manifesting outside. You know one very peculiar thing? When anger takes possession of anyone, we are never ashamed of our anger. We want that everybody should know about our anger. If you want to see this tamasha, go in the public places, railway stations, etc. Two things happen. If one gets angry, he starts talking in that language which is not his mother tongue. So they start talking in Hindi. Mumbai example, Hindi. And when they talk in Hindi and with anger, they don't talk to the person to whom the anger is. They talk to the whole world, you know. In Dogoni Samaskara Kaya, Bhar Kya Ko, like that. So this anger is not making us ashamed of it. Therefore, Aveg, the force of this anger is so strong that we imagine that anger is necessity for life. See? We forget that anger should be at our disposal and not we become the victim of the anger. See, not becoming angry is not control over anger. Please understand. Not driving the car and keeping in the parking lot is not control over car. Then you are able to drive the car and you move around and you don't dash anyone. That is control over car in the same manner. Anger is under our control. When required, we are able to invoke it instantaneously and immediately disappears. That is called as control over anger. And such a person is never a victim of anger. So, Kama Krodhud Bhavam Vegam Ya Utsahate Prasahate Sodum Prasahitum He who is able to stand boldly to the onslaught of 
दिस अटैक ऑफ एंगर एंड डिजायर सहायुक्त हा योगी नाउ सी ही इज अ योगी This definition will be further continued of yoga in the sixth chapter. So now, what is the definition of yogi here? He in whose mind anger and desire comes, but he does not become desirer or angry. He is a yogi. This is yoga. In the sixth chapter, Bhagwan will tell. तम विद्या दुख संयोग वियोग योग संदित दे वेन द दुख मिजरी इज फ्रीली अवेलेबल एंड येट यू आर नॉट इन्फ्लुएंस बाय द मिजरी एंड देअर फोर सेपरेशन फ्रॉम द अवेलेबल मिजरी विथ युअर फ्री विल दैट इज कॉल्ड एज योग सो थ्री थिंग्स नाउ in the second uh, fifth chapter the definition of yoga is he who is able to stand to the onslaught of the desire and anger means desire and anger will come they don't come from outside they come from within so even if they come we are able to stand to that and he who is able to do that you will see we discover such tremendous atma bal when you are angry to bark it is very easy it doesn't require any spiritual practice but when the anger is extremely potent and you are able to stand apart unmoved by the anger don't cooperate with the anger and the desire it will go away you know what anger and desire do they borrow strength from our weakness when we are weak they become strong in fact they are not strong so yaha shodum saknoti he who is able to stand saha yukta ha saha yogi hi yogi he is a yogi and second sa sukhi and he alone is happy you will never see any person who had become extremely angry on any issue and after the anger is over ha ah, i am feeling good no after that you feel guilty i don't know why do i do like this i feel some time killing myself why do i get so angry everybody has got the same problem the other day somewhere i think it was in uh, panchamadi i went in some hotel we had some talk and uh, this you know marwari families एंड वन लेडी स्वामी जी बताओ ना गुस्सा कैसा कम करे थोड़ा पानी डाल दो कम हो जाए एवरीबडी वेदर इट इज ए बिजनेस पर्सन वेदर इट इज ए जॉब वर्कर वेदर इट इज ए बाबा जी और इट इज ए बीबी जी एवरी वेयर इज एंगर इज अ बिग फोर्स एंड सच पीपल दे देम सेल्स कैन नेवर बी हैप्पी A angry people person is always miserable because then once we know this fellow is angry immediately we are sorted out who wants an angry person to be with so sukhi a person is happy only if he has conquered desire and anger and further jo eh loke naraha he alone is nar Others are vanar. Va means or. Narova kunjarova. So vanar, the monkeys are those who are influenced by the desire and anger, and human beings are those who are not desire, not influenced by desire and anger. One uh, boy. must be about 10 years 9 years he was talking to his mother about his father father was very angry character you know what he was talking very innocently he didn't know what he is saying he said mummy why uh, papa always barks see what a depth in that statement barking becomes our habit after some time we don't know 
that we are not talking we are only barking hey you come kya kaam hai so the same thing can be asked in a decent manner mm -hmm. the language tone everything changes therefore shakroti hai vaya sodhum prak sharir vimoshana for this yatna dhikyam kartavyam all efforts are required to be put forward because shreyo marga pratipakshi atyanta kashtatamaha doshah what is that kamesha krodhesha in the third chapter bhagwan told who is that who prompts us to go the wrong way kamesha krodhesha now in the fifth chapter he who is able to stand to the onslaught of this anger and desire he alone is walking the spiritual path all these things put together one principle i have told you number of times i'll tell you now with this reference what is that those who become miserable because of anything or anybody they are fools of the highest order now behind this statement this much is the thought see स सुखी स नराहा ही हु इज नॉट इन्फ्लुएंस बाय द एंगर एंड डिझायर वी हॅव डिझायर थिंग शुड बी लाईक दॅट आय वॉन्ट द पीपल पीपल डोंट अंडरस्टँड मी नो हाऊ लॉंग आय ओनली शुड अंडरस्टँड एव्हरीबडी इज इट नॉट दॅट समबडी शुड अंडरस्टँड मी ऑल्सो सो आम्ही दी देअर फोर आय कम टू यू एल यू ऑल्सो स्कोल नेव्हर नेव्हर जस्टिफाय that you are angry uh, you are miserable on account of anybody or anything in this world then only we are walking shreya marga otherwise we are living only the same wretched useless worldly life katham bhutah cha brahmane sthitah brahma prapnoti iti ah now how this wise man who is firmly abiding in the brahman katham bhutah how he becomes like that how he has attained that and brahmani sthitah brahma prapnoti and how he attains the brahman meaning was what is the meaning of attainment of the brahman what is the meaning of attainment of the absolute reality what exactly happens in the 24th verse योत सुखोतरारामोतिरेवी ब्रह्म निर्वाण ब्रह्म भूत यहा अंत सुख अंतरात्मी सुखम यस्य सहा अंत सुख ही हुज ब्लिस इज नॉट शैट स्प्रेड इन द वर्ल्डली ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन द वर्ल्डली पीपल और इन द वर्ल्डली सिचुएशन अंत सुख यहा अंत सुख तथा अंतरे आत्मनी आराम आ क्रीडा यस्य स अंतरराम he who is content within he is revealing inside not outside for us to you know we are so tired of this bombay heat you know i think we must go somewhere for a vacation go oh. and then after going there we realize see nothing like bombay you know there never electricity failure we came over here no electricity no water and there is no phone working here also properly no vegetables in the what will you hear how much you will eat in this useless air better go back so he is antararam ha he is revealing within himself not dependent on anything outside tatha antaratma eva jyotihi prakashah yasya sa antar jyotihi eva and he who has all understanding from within not from outside now these three things <clears throat> if you look at them what they tell what is the meaning of attainment of brahman this is the question antas sukha ananda 
अंतर आराम सत एंड अंतर ज्योति ही चित द सत चित आनंद इज फुल्ली लिव्ड बाय दिस वाइज मैन ज्योति ही इज चित ज्ञान आराम इज सत एक्जिस्टेंस एंड अंत सुखा इज आनंद ही हु इज इंडिपेंडेंट ब्लिसफुल कॉन्शियस एक्जिस्टेंस एंड देयर फोर नॉट डिपेंडेंट ऑन एनीथिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड बिकॉज इन दिस वर्ल्ड देर इज नथिंग देन दिस रियालिटी एंड विथ दिस रियालिटी वेन दिस मास्टर इज Where is the question of any misery, any deception, any fear? So he starts living a fearless existence. So there is neither fear of death because he is antar arama, nor fear of deception because he is antar jyoti hi, no fear of misery because he is antar sukha. So this fearless, blissful, conscious, independent existence is the nature of this. कथम भूता च ब्रह्मणि स्थिता ब्रह्म पापनो प्राप्नोति इत्थम भूता लाइक दिस नाउ स योगी ही स योगी योगी मीन्स वॉट हियर यहां ईदृश स योगी ही हु इज लाइक दिस ही इज अ रियल योगी नाउ द योगी देअर फोर मीन्स ही हु हैज डन ऑल द एक्रोबैटिक्स टू लीव द मैटर and to get established in the self he is a yogi so yogi idrshaha brahma nirvanam brahmani nirvrutim moksham iv jivan ev brahma bhuta asan adigachati prapnoti brahma nirvanam is he is now abiding in the self abiding in the brahman nirvrutim nirvrutim means withdrawn in the brahman <coughs> he is withdrawn in the brahman means he is abiding in the brahman moksham so he is liberated jivan eva while living itself brahma bhuta asan thus attainment of brahman is adigachati recognition of the brahman atma bhavena so he who has recognized that he is the absolute sachidananda par brahma parmatma in this way alone brahma is attained and na karmana na prayaya dhanena tyage naike amrutatva manasu vedant vidnyana sanishchitartha sanyasa yogat yataya shuddha sattva see whatever way you look at ultimately it comes to this that we have to recognize our own self without doing this you may do anything in your life nothing will be attained and brahma nirvana is this and for uh, <coughs> continuing this thought in the 25th verse we will take it in our <coughs> next class om purnamadah purnamidam purna at purnamudachate पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओम